In this video, I show how to draw walls and what to consider. Before you draw, you should set the units in which you want to draw. I now have centimeters. Go to wall, then catalog, and here I have different walls to choose from. There are also other folders here where I have walls, and I can also create walls myself and save them in the catalog. These walls have a number of centimeters in their name. Our American customers often ask if we don't also have walls with American units. But you can also draw these walls with American measurements. I select this wall, and I see 36.5 centimeters here. Now I select inch, click OK, and now it's important to know, you have to click into another tab, no matter which one, then back to the construction tab, and then again on wall, and here are the measurements in inches. Now wall thicknesses are in inches. I can enter the thickness myself change it, and then draw walls with a different thickness. And I can also save this wall with the wall thickness in the catalog. I have to choose this wall. Click on catalog, and then here generate new element. Okay, yes. And here is the wall now. So, as I said, it is important when you change the unit of measurement, click once in another tab, and then back again. And then the measurements are changed here again. I now click on unit and switch to centimeters. Click OK. As I said, I click into another tab, click back on construction. And now I want to show how to draw walls. I go to wall, to the catalog, select this default wall. And here on the right, I have interactive dimensions on, and this button here to show the coordinates on the mouse. Namely, when I draw a wall, I see this blue line on the wall with the measurements and an angle. And on the mouse, I have two details also the length and the angle. I can now type the number 700 on the keyboard. Or for example 800 and I enter the length of the wall. Then I press tab on the keyboard and now I can enter the angle. To draw the wall downwards it is minus 90 degrees and for example to the right are 0 degrees. At the top, it is 90 degrees, and to the left, 180 degrees. And so you can enter it manually and enter the angle exactly. Now I press enter, and this wall is drawn. And I'm now drawing the next wall. I now draw the wall here as a polygon to the end. And when I'm done, then I press escape, and the function is finished, and the room is drawn. I drew as a polygon because polygon is selected at the top. I can also draw as a line. Now, for example, I draw thinner walls. I'll take this one. And I want to draw an interior wall with a certain distance from the corner. To do this, I turn off the snap points once. They bother me anyway. And I make a reference point. From here, I use the mouse to select the direction I want to have a distance, enter 300 as the distance, press enter, and I start drawing my wall right there. Where the red line is, there are 300 centimeters measured. Now it's important to know that once you've started drawing a wall, you can also press the letter W to draw either on the left side on the right side or in the middle.
This is always helpful when drawing walls. Let's say I'm going to start drawing a wall here. I press W again and align my wall correctly. Then I can draw a parallel wall. That's a feature here. First of all, I select a wall from which to measure in parallel. Here from the right side of this wall, I want to measure. Then I enter a distance 250 cm. Click OK and next select the direction in which you want to measure. Right. And now I'm going to enter the starting point of the wall and I'm going to draw this parallel wall. Here I can press the letter W again and choose whether I want to draw exactly in the middle or not. I always turn off the snap points because they bother me rather than they help me. But you can also turn on if you want to snap to the grid. For example, if you draw a wall, then the wall will be snapped to the grid. This is sometimes helpful, but most of the time it isn't. That's why I usually turn it off. And these were my advice on how to draw a wall.